Here is the story of how I lost 500k in forex trading. So, this is one of the hardest stories for me to be talking about because I do not like to lose money. But, but yet again, if you are afraid to lose money, then there is no way for you to make money. So you have to be willing to lose money in order for you to make money. But make sure you are not losing your life savings. Well, I'm going to walk you through a very difficult story of why I lost 500k in forex trading. I'm going to show you how I did it, the stacks, the real facts about it, everything. I'm not going to hide it from you guys. I'm going to show you my account, everything. I'm not going to hide it from you. So it's a story. It's not as if uh, it's something that uh, I will be doing. Now. I've already done it I've, and, I've, and I've already lost the money. So 500k local currency in Naira. So I initially, you know, one dollar now is equal to one thousand naira in the uh, Nigerian local currency, and I decided to invest five hundred dollar. Five hundred dollar is equal to, as of now, five hundred thousand naira. So I'm using the current exchange rate, current exchange rate. So I'm gonna tell you a story. I have been so keen, so happy looking for a way to go into forest trading because i was getting inspired by some online uh forest trader you know like the one in nigeria one of the biggest forest uh, trader boy in nigeria uh, habi you know i was so inspired by him a very young guy making it buying this lamborghini and the other one recently who bought another lamborghini you know these guys are crazy making it in the industry, forest trade industry, so I was so carried away and also hired, you know. And if you check the YouTube videos, see all those uh, forest traders, how they are balling and they are making so much money in thousands of US dollars and the cars and the house and the, they keep showing you their money and everything, the withdrawals, you know. You, you won't, you would definitely be inspired. And I was so inspired over the years. I was finding a way to add to my income, apart from the money from YouTube, apart from my personal business, and apart from uh, the government work, I was looking for the fourth income to add to it. And uh, the next thing I was looking into was forest trading because I love the money people were making from it. Come on, man. You have to be inspired, right? And you have to see money to be inspired. So I saw a lot of money there. I'd be like, you know what? I have to be among these guys, even if I'm making like hundred dollar a day or two hundred dollar, even fifty dollar a day, I am satisfied as long as I know I'm making something. And it actually came true for me. You know, it actually really came true for me. So let me give you a hint on how I started this whole thing. So I started this trading stuff earlier this year, and my brother. My younger brother introduced me to it. It's not as if introducing me to it. I, I, I already know about the trading and I was already inspired over the years, but I don't know, I didn't have time to really go into it, to go for lectures, to seek for assistance because I don't know the apps. I don't know the apps. I don't know how to get fun into the apps. I know all those uh, things before you actually really, really get started. So my younger brother came uh to spend some time with me and uh he was so interested in this trading so he was already into cryptocurrency and all those kind of stuff me i'm into cryptocurrency as well so he happy was happy who is very very popular in nigeria was already promoting his course online you know his classes online and per per semester you pay two hundred thousand or two hundred thousand naira, naira thereabout, and my brother paid two hundred thousand naira. I don't know the amount. They are as a then to get direct lecture from Arabi. So he was going, coming to my house. Then whenever he go come, I will learn from him as well. So that was how I decided to go into it full time. I learned for him. I opened my first account. 
my first account from uh, MetaTrade. I firstly opened MetaTrade 4, but MetaTrade 4 wasn't really that okay for me because it's set up and you know, I wasn't really liking it. So I opened MetaTrade 5 and I started with a demo account. So the demo account was really, really okay for me. I was making so much money from that demo account. It's not physical money, but it's just to show you how the breakthrough, the tricks and everything you can learn with that demo account. You can trade with that demo account, real life trading, but it's not money. It's not money. It's just a demo account where you can learn and get the tips and everything. So I learned that demo account for like four days. And we did that four days. I was very, very okay. I was making so much money. I started with $10,000 from a demo account. And I made close to like uh, 20 something thousand dollars in four days from that demo account alone. And I started with another one hundred thousand dollars, and I even make like fifty thousand dollars in just few days. Well, I was so inspired. I said, you know what? It's time. It's time for me to go into this. Now, let me really, really go into this. Let me put real money. So I talked to my brother, and I said, you know what? I'm ready. I want to put in real money. And he said, the bros. How much you want to put? I said, okay, I want to put in five hundred dollars. He was advising me, okay, five hundred dollars is good. Then there was a you no know, the system of getting money funded into it because of the Nigeria monetary policies was so extremely difficult. I don't know what's wrong with our government to make things extremely difficult for Nigeria youth. Make it easy for us to fund all those apps. All those international bodies are making serious money from those things, and we are just lacking behind. You know, it was so difficult, but I succeeded in getting uh, getting my real account and I funded the account and I named the account and I succeeded in uh, doing everything. And of course, that's the account. And uh, you know, I, I, I loaded uh, $500 into the account. So that's the account. You see, balance as at, I don't know if uh, that's the date. Uh, I balance at uh, as at uh, February, March, April, May, twenty fifth May, twenty twenty three. You see, five hundred dollar. Then I started trading immediately. I was trading at zero point zero one, and the first hit I made six cent. The second four cent. The third thirty one cent, and the fifth forty one cent. You see the trading. This trading, I was buying and selling. I was making so much money. There was no red, no red transaction because red transaction means that you are losing money. You know, this uh, blue means you are gaining. You know, everything was blue so far. I was buying and selling. It was blue till uh, 26th. There was 26th, there was no red. I was like, damn. Yeah. The thing has really gotten into me. I was so extremely motivated and happy. I was like, man, just imagine trading at 0 0.01 and making this little money. What if I hop it up to 0 0.05 or 0 0.02? Or maybe I would just be inspired. Like, if I had, if I can make this little money, just imagine having 100,000 US dollars in that account. You know how much I've been making in less than one hour. That's why you see all those happy they are falling. It's real money. There is no fraud in it. It's real money. It's straight. You say that you lose or you gain. It's untactic. Untactic. So it's not as if you are into one uh, positive scheme. It's not a positive scheme. It's actually really nice to go into it because I remember the like my mind was beating fast. I feel like, yes, I was alive. Because YouTube made me feel alive. Other businesses make me feel alive. But trading gave me this different form of being alive or being competitive. You know, I was so happy, guys. I cannot uh, uh, express the feelings. Then my first loss was as at uh, 26, uh, 5, 23. I, low, I lose uh, $2. Then, you see... I went there 
I was then there was a time that I decided to move from 0 0.1 then uh, the trading was going so well for me so well majority of my trading was uh, was was blue then I moved to 0 0.3 I moved to 0 0.3. The trading was still really nice. I lost a couple of money. You see the red transactions there. I lost a couple of money. You know, 0 point, uh, 0 0.1. I was trading between 0 0.1 and 0 0.3. Everything was still going really, really great for me, honestly. It was still going really, really great. And uh, I think when I lost it all was I made it very wrong. I was trading between uh us usd to uh british pounds that was what i would trade that sometimes i go to gold to trade gold so i got it i remember when dollar crashed no 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 it's, it's not when dollar crashed when dollar went up was when i lost it i wasn't buying i sold it I sold and the thing was going, the dollar was going up against the USD. Ah. If I had so much fun in it, huh, I would have gained it. Because of my little fun, that was the reason why I was locked out. And if you check here, I lost so much money here. I lost, you know, I lost 500. I, I gained a lot. I was, my account was like 1,000 something, something dollar. And I started with 500. I gained a lot, but. Unfortunately, I lost the whole money, guys. Everything. And my last thing so far is that say, do not just push your limit. You have to be extremely careful. Don't allow your test for success to knock you off. You know, know your mind and know what you can do and relax a little bit. It's good to study the market. Study it very, very well. Check out past chat. Make sure you go back a few weeks, one month ago, one year ago to check the chart step by step to know your limit on how to either sell or to buy. And if you ask me, after losing $500, 500K in Nigeria currency, it's not small money, 500K is huge in Nigeria currency. After losing 500K, will I still want to invest? Forex. Let me be honest with you guys. I love competition. And I will definitely start again. I'm planning on going into it again because I cannot stop now. You know why? I was making it at the first time. And I know my mistakes. I know how I made that mistake. And I know what to do not to make that mistake. In paraventure, I invest and I also make another different mistake. Good and fine. I will still come back for. As long as I'm not using my life savings, and I'm using money that I can easily give away. I'm using money that I put aside that, okay, you know what? This is a gamble money. I can easily give it away. That's the kind of money. And again, there's so much profit to be made. And the few times that I've traded them, I actually felt alive. Like, I actually felt alive. My brain was working really, really fast. Really, really fast, guys. So for me, it's something that I will encourage every newbie to go into. If you have money that you can just give away, just learn about it. Try with a demo account first. Try with a demo account, and as time goes on, you 